our 24 hour trip to London. It's currently 6.25 and I'm on my way to the train station. Let's have some fun. Hey guys, welcome back to Aaron in the audience. Um, today I'm just going to be talking about my week. I went on another trip to London. I decided to do another 24 hour round trip which actually the journeys were much better than last time, especially in terms of coming home. I had a much more pleasant train journey on the way back, which meant the trip felt a whole lot nicer. Um, so yeah, I went down to see two shows again, A Midsummer's Night Dream at the Bridge Theatre and Jesus Christ Superstar at the Barbican. Um, so I'll start off with A Midsummer's Night Dream. Um, so that's starring Gwendolyn Christie, who is uh, one of my favourite uh, actors. Um, she was in Game of Thrones, Star Wars, The Hunger Games, um, and then, yes, I got to see her in this play. So A Midsummer's Night Dream is a play by William Shakespeare, as you probably know. Sort of follows the story of four lovers, their parents, includes fairies, because what good story doesn't. Um, so yeah, my ticket was a pit ticket, which meant I was standing for the show. Um, it was designed as an immersive piece of theatre, so I was standing and was moved around the stage as the story was told. Um, this allowed me to get extremely close to the performers and sort of really be immersed in the story they were creating as it evolved around you. Shakespeare, as many of you may know, is quite difficult nowadays to be accessible to a wider audience. And I've always found them very difficult to read more than anything else, um, just due to being dyslexic. But this show, in the way it was done, I sort of forgot about the language being used. I was sort of thrown into the world and it really allowed me to invest in the story and understand what was going on. And at no point did I question the language in a way that I didn't understand um, and I think everyone there felt the same. Um, so yeah, um, the cast were exceptional. They all seemed to be very comfortable with their roles, with their other performers and with the facts so that there was audience at almost every angle. Um, the extreme, they appeared to be very comfortable in the setting that they were in. Um, which again, only added to the experience they were creating. So yeah, it's one of the best times that I've had at a theatre as an audience member ever. Um, there's not many times that you get to be within centimetres of the cast and sort of move and be part of that story that has been told. I wish it was running longer so I could see it again. My show was a camera rehearsal for National Theatre Live. Um, for those that you don't know, um, National, National Theatre for the past 10 years have been recorded productions from around the UK and then broadcasting broadcast them either live or filmed live um, to cinemas across the UK. Um, so A Midsummer, A Midsummer's Night Dream is being recorded next week and will be shown in the cinemas on October 17th. So there is a chance for you to see this story. I absolutely cannot wait to see it again. The way that the cameras were filming, they were getting right in there with the audience, they were moving around. They were being carried by men um, to try and capture the immersiveness. I don't think that's a word. But yeah, to try and capture the experience um, that the audience member were feeling as they were there. Um, so I'd recommend that. Um, October 17th, I am pretty sure it's playing almost all cinemas, especially in Edinburgh. It's playing on all of them as I've checked their website. So yeah, if you get a chance to see it, be sure to let me know what you think. And if you've got any questions, please just ask. Um, so while I was there in the evening, I also got to see Jesus Christ Superstar at the Barbican. Um, Jesus Christ Superstar as a show is one that I've never really been attracted to. Um, it, to be fair, it doesn't tour much, um, but I've never felt the connection to that as I have other shows. Um, but I heard really good things about um, this production. It's their region open air and um, so it performed the previous two years in an outdoor venue and it had been moved indoors for this season. Um, it's almost at the end of its run and I decided to go one because I wanted to see something new 
into the Barbican and also the Bridge Feaster offer um, discounted tickets if you're a student or under 26. Um, so both these shows allowed me to go to two, two London shows cheaper than ever been before. Um, I think it was I paid about £35 for both tickets, um, which is what I would usually pay for one West End musical in, in a slightly cheaper seat. Um, and it, they were both worth it. The production, from what I've seen, clips of other ones, this one was reimagined. Um, they used a lot of hip hop and street influence in the choreography. And the setting was very minimal. It was sort of like a warehouse type feel, I think, which added again to the rock vibe that the soundtrack has. The singers in the cast were insane, especially Judas and Jesus. Yeah, the hit. I think some of the highest notes I've ever heard anyone belt ever in my life and I got goosebumps almost every time that both of them sang so seeing it for them totally worth it um, as the story this has nothing to do with the production it's not probably a show I'd rush to see again and um, it's quite a heavy story and um, for those that you don't know it follows Jesus in his final days and the last thing you see is Jesus being crucified and um, so it is a fairly heavy story and covers a lot of adult themes and um, that sort of come with religion and that story and uh, with betrayal and love and lust and um, so it's not one you could go and see if you're wanting a great night out so I think that's the reason that I wouldn't rush to see it again um, and that's not to say I wouldn't ever see it again. After both shows were done, I had a little time to kill before getting the overnight train back, which wasn't till around 10 at midnight. And um, so I decided to go back the route I came and stop off at the bridge feeder, um, just because it's at the Tower Bridge with the Shard, and it's an area of London I hadn't visited before. Um, and while I was there, um, I was lucky enough to actually catch Gwendolyn Christie, um, who signed my programme for me and got a fold. She is super lovely down to earth and um, there was a small crowd outside and they cheered as she came out and she seemed pleasantly surprised about the sort of the attention she was getting. Her performance in A Midsummer Night's Dream was great along with the rest of the cast and um, I wouldn't say any were stronger than anyone else and it, was, it felt almost like an ensemble piece. Everyone was there for each other, everyone played off each other really well um, but yeah, it was just super nice to meet her, catch her after the show, um, which was unexpected. So yeah, after that I came home, I got the overnight train home again. I decided last time and this time that because I was going down spontaneously last minute, the overnight train is cheaper than a train and a hotel night um, in London. So I decided both times to throw them into one. And this experience was a whole lot better than last time. Um, the train was a bit warmer. Um, I managed to sleep most of the journey, which I didn't do last time, and um, which I put down to having a coffee later than I probably should have last. Yeah. So later in the week, as in today, um, I got to see Sir Ian McKellen, his one man show. Um, he's touring around the country for his 80th birthday. Um, in this show, he sort of speaks about his career, um, his most famous roles. He does monologues. Um, shares anecdotes and stories about his career and he's been an inspiration of mine for as long as I can remember. I remember watching him when I was seven years old and sort of he was one of the reasons that I wanted to get into acting and through my career and sort of journey as a performer now into teaching I would say he still holds true as one of the figures that sort of have shown me sort of that path um, and also being an openly gay man, especially for him during the 60s, 70s and 80s, it probably wasn't a pleasant time. So his courage, courage and strength also showed me when I was a bit younger that it was okay to be who I am and sort of deepened my admiration for him. Um, so yeah, his show was great. It is also going to London for a couple of months. Um, I'm pretty sure you can see all the tickets. I would recommend seeing it if you're a fan of his. Um, he does sort of delve into some of his most famous characters. Um, so, so yeah, he opens the show with Gandalf. He speaks about his time performing Shakespeare. Um, and his journey to sort of becoming an actor. He sort of explains that when he was a teenager, when he was at school, he didn't want to be an actor. And it was sort of his love for the theatre 
that sort of pushed him on that path. Um, after the show, he was collecting money for a local charity, which um, yeah, which he has done at every venue for a local charity to that city. Um, so Edinburgh in Edinburgh it was a Leaf Academy um, school, which raised money for scholarships to people for people to be able to take part in the arts. And that's not just performing; that would be sort of backstage, stage management, sort of painting, music. And um, they offer scholarships to people who may not have the chance to study or delve into these fields um, with normal means. Um, so he stood outside with a bucket and he just got to go donate to him. Um, and I got to shake his hand, I got to thank him for an amazing show, um, but also for being who he is and sort of inspiring so many people. Um, so yeah, this week has gone down as a favourite of mine. Um, it's not every day you get to meet two of your idols within two days of each other. Um, I find myself extremely blessed. So, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please for, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and like my Facebook. I'll leave links down below. Um, as always, if you've got anything you would like to see me do, any films, TV shows, anything that you would like to see me review or talk about, I am open to that. So yeah, thank you so much.